Okay, hey guys. Um, this little tutorial uh, because I had some problems uh, setting up my uh, my Google Calendar with uh, iCal. Um, just uh, checked all over the way all over the web. I uh, I went uh, went to Google. Uh, found very little help there. Went to a uh, Bing, so I binged it, and uh, not much help there either. And uh, then I checked Yahoo, and I uh, came up uh, again frustrated. So I jumped on the phone with uh, Apple support. They were very nice, uh, but they uh, they ran into very similar problems that I could or that I was that uh, the the settings of figuring out how to get my Google Calendar to synchronize with uh, iCal uh, was kind of eluding uh, all of us. So what I did was I actually, uh, it was relatively simple for me to set up the calendar with my iPad. So I checked the, uh, the settings on my iPad and from there I was able to use those settings to uh, bring them into the Mac. So uh, here's, uh, to, to simplify this, uh, let's open up your, uh, uh, your system preferences then you're going to go to Internet Accounts. And I already have the Google Calendar uh, added here. Well, what I what I did was I scrolled down on this list here, and I chose Add Other Account, and then chose Add Account uh, Dav Account. I'm gonna click Create. Now, then on the email address, actually no, you gotta change that from Automatic, change it to Advanced, then put in your uh, your username. So let's say I was uh, your name, your name at gmail.com. That's not really my email address. Um, then my password. All right, I put my password in. Then the server address is www.google.com server pass gets a little confusing again I found this information in the uh, settings of my uh, actually in the detailed settings of my iPad I'm gonna paste it here so command V and let me go back to the beginning uh, and hopefully you can see this on your screen um, alright so this is HTTPS colon slash slash www.google.com slash calendar slash dev lowercase dav and then you put in your email address so I just put here your name at gmail dot com another slash user and then it's important there's one more slash the port you use is port number 443 you then click use uh, I guess it's a secure server use SSL and create. Um, I'm not going to create it, um, but once you create it and then open up the calendar, the calendars then um, everything populates and instantly in a matter of minute um, everything's up on your calendar and you're set to go. Um, when, when it does come up it will ask you what do you, uh, you want to sync? Contacts, mail, um, Calendar only choose the, the calendar option uh, in the in the cal dav option. You don't, you only want the calendar be, to be chosen. And uh, from this, uh, that's uh, that's where I've got uh, the uh, the settings that Google recommended that I found on the web uh, did not work. Um, and when I was working with App, Apple Tech Support, they could not get them to work either. So this is the workaround. Uh, I, uh, again, I found the settings in my iPad under my calendar uh, for there because it was uh, relatively easy setting up my Google Calendar on my iPad. Uh, but again, I had that to do that with the uh, the Cal Dav option in the iPad. Cool. All right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, I hope this helps out. And um, uh, if you saw any of my personal information, uh, do me a favor. Uh, don't hack my accounts. Uh, but if you do. Uh, please make sure you uh, deposit large amounts of money in, uh, in my bank accounts. Thank you.